some interesting things that I found about this building just being down here this first time. For instance, up at the top where I showed you the sign that says Save the Depot, up above Save the Depot there are some letters and it looks like L I S A. And then there's another letter I. I don't know what that means. I thought at first it might be Lisa. But in any event, just amazed to see that someone was able to get up there and paint details on this building. In fact, uh, there are all kinds of little signs, lettering. There's the word uh, Sid Lives. And uh, next to that, there is looks like, well, I don't know, I can't read that one, yeah, I can, it says, uh, it says Tim, I can see it without looking through the lens or the camera, it says Tim E. Tim, then on the corner, right about here, it says Troy in large letters. I'll pan down to give you some idea how high up that is. I mean, that's quite a bit up there. So for how someone got out to paint those letters on that wall is amazing to me. And I'm not sure what that little garage type section is on the right there, but it looks like it might have been where the trains pulled in or or they stopped or something. Interesting little building. There seems to be a lot of graffiti all over this building. In fact, this is uh, this is a ground level, but it is behind the fence. So again, it's uh, it's just sort of amazing how much writing goes on on this building and how people not only how people got in there to do the writing but why anyone would want to go in there and do any writing on this building unless someone actually lives inside this building this is a side view going down the left side as you uh, approach the uh, the building in fact, I think what I'll do is a pan around, give you some idea of what it looks like as you do approach the entrance. So what you're looking at there is Michigan Avenue and this is the uh, grand entrance way see that street is Lacombe Drive well, there's a few uh, little roads inside there but anyways as you uh, drive in you approach the train station and of course this is what you see. Again, kind of like Tiger, the old Tiger Stadium, this could be one grand piece of property. When we talk about jobs, it seems to me that there could be lots of people tearing this place down and a lot of people building it up or building up a new facility and working there. So there are definitely jobs to be had if this city and the owner of this facility is willing to talk and work out some sort of a deal. At the moment it's just a big waste of uh, vast property that just sits here and remains an eyesore in the city of Detroit.
this is all I'm going to shoot today. I will close with telling anyone who has not seen any of, any of my Tiger Stadium shoots to please buy a copy of my book. The title of the book is Life is a Strange Feeling. Have a good day, people.